Hello and welcome to Blender Bite Size. In this video, I'll be showing you how to make this material procedurally in Blender. Feeling lazy? You can support this channel and skip the hard work by grabbing the blend file for this material from Gumroad for just a pound. Feeling flush? Feel free to throw some of that coin my way using the coffee link in the description below the video. Okay, so just before I start, um, just to be clear, I'm not modeling a coffee bean, I'm just providing the texture for the surface. So to do this, I've gone into the shading tab, I'm enabling viewport shading, and I've got a principal shader already applied to the object that's on screen. So the first thing that I'm going to add is a Voronoi texture, and I'm going to plug that into the base color. I'm going to add a color ramp in between that and the shader. And then I'm going to add a noise texture. Plug that into the normal. Then I'm going to add a bump node. And make sure the factor from the noise texture is going into the height of the bump node. Okay, let's make a few changes. So, first of all, for the Voronoi texture, uh, actually there's no changes for that. For the noise texture, we're going to set that to 3 for a scale, detail to 15, roughness to 0.5, and distortion to minus 0.4. Bump node, we're going to set the strength at 0.2 five and leave the distance as it is. Now you can see we've got sort of light and dark areas to indicate the different tones of the coffee bean. But what I'd like to do is change those into the regular coffee bean color. So we're going to do that with the color ramp. We're going to start out by changing this color here. So we'll start by increasing the value a bit so we can see the color range we've got. We'll take the saturation quite deep and we'll move the hue around to sort of an orangey color. Then we're going to drop this value right down to 0 0.01 so it's a very very dark brown. On this end we're going to do something very similar. There we've got that. And I'm actually going to add one, add another node in here, and just drop the value down a bit on this one, maybe to 0 0.05. Then I'm going to select the end node and add one, so that it puts it in between those two. And it automatically scales the color based on that, but I'm just going to randomly just move it around a little bit. So we've got nice subtle shading going on there. Now for the main shader itself, increase the specular to one. Specular tint to zero. Uh, and we're going to take the color from the color ramp and use that to control the clear coat, which gives us a bit of shine on it. Other than that, not much else to do. So I'm going to send it to render and see what you think. Okay, there we go. There's the rendered coffee bean texture. Now for a bit more richness to that, you could turn off the denoising when you render and you could probably try staggering out the colors a bit more on the color ramp. But other than that, once you add it to your modelled coffee bean, which will be more oval and have that sort of wiggly texture in the middle, then I think you'll have a pretty realistic coffee bean. Okay, that's it for this one. If you've enjoyed the video, please remember to give it a thumbs up and of course subscribe for future content. In the meantime, thanks for watching.